Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Custom Workflow Development Course and in this lecture we will see the detailed course content so this Microsoft Dynamics 365 Custom Workflow Development Course is mainly divided into 7 modules where in module number 1 we will first understand what are the different options through which you can extend Dynamics 365 where in lecture number 1 we will see an overview about extending Dynamics 365 or CRM and then in next lecture we will see what are the different extensibility options that you have in Dynamics 365 then in lecture number 3 we will see why custom development is needed and in last lecture we will see what are the different considerations that you need to make before doing any custom development in Dynamics 365 so that will bring the end of module number 1 and in module number 2 we will see the fundamentals of workflow where first we will see what is a workflow after that we will see what are the different types of workflow and in next lecture we will see the differences between these different types of workflows that is real time and background workflow we will see the differences between both of them in detail and after that we will see the workflow basics and its components where we will see the what are the different properties and components of a workflow and in last lecture we will see how you can develop a workflow with the help of a practical scenario and demo as well so that will conclude our module number two in module number three we will see how you can add different steps within your workflow where first we will see how you can use create record step in your workflow with the help of a practical demo as well in module number three is completely based on practical demo lectures so after that we will see what is the scope of workflow then we will see how you can run a workflow on demand then we will see how you can check conditions within your workflow and after that if you want to update a record from your workflow how you can use update record action and after that we will see how you can use conditional branching once we learn that we will see how you can assign records from your workflow to different users and teams and after that we will see how you can use default actions in conditional branch and you can also send emails from your workflow that we'll see in that lecture and after that we will see how you can use wait conditions within your workflow there we will see wait conditions as well as timeout conditions what is the difference between both of them and after that we will see what is child workflow and how you can use child workflows and post to that we will understand how you can use perform action step within your workflow and lastly we will see how you can use custom steps or custom conditions within your workflow by writing piece of code so we will see that with the help of practical demo and a live example as well so this model number three is going to be very much informative and after model number three we will see in model number four we will take a deep dive into custom workflow development where we will see what is a custom workflow activity and what are the different scenarios for which you can use custom workflow activity after that we will see the, the basics of custom workflow activity and in last lecture of that module 4 we will see how you can create and develop a custom workflow activity as well with the help of scenario and practical demo as well after that in module number 5 we will see once you have created that custom workflow activity how you can register and deploy those custom workflow activities where the first part is to register a custom workflow with dynamics 365 instance and once you have registered a custom workflow activity then how you can deploy that custom workflow activity from one environment to another environment that we will see in the lecture 2 of that module and then in module number 6 we will see how you can debug custom workflow activities as well so debugging becomes very much important for every developer so in dynamics 365 debugging custom workflow in on-premise is different from that of in case of online environment so in first lecture we will see how you can debug a custom workflow activity on dynamics 365 on-premise and in next lecture we will see how you can debug a custom workflow activity in case of online deployment so that will officially uh, give you lots of information but still in module number 7 I will give you bonus information when you are dealing with workflows in Dynamics 365 where in first lecture I will give you the best practices recommended by Microsoft uh, when you are working with workflows in Dynamics 365 and in next lecture we will see the similarities and differences between workflows and plugins because with both of them you can extend Dynamics 365 you need to understand the similarities and the differences between them and in last lecture we will see 
how you can decide or choose whether to use a workflow or plugin for a particular requirement so our last module is also going to be very much informative and useful so this is our overall course content so i hope to see you all inside till then bye bye and take care